coronavirus is also hitting Colorado's colleges and universities hard. It's not just education at risk, but the state's economy. Nearly 90,000 Coloradans work in higher ed. The industry, one of the state's largest employers. As political specialist Sean Boyd explains, they are expecting big drops in enrollment and big cuts in funding. Construction is underway on a new student dorm at the University of Colorado Denver, but whether there will be students to fill it is unclear. We are making some pretty good guesses and planning for some difficult scenarios. The university has lost $274 million in the last two months, and it's not alone. Together, the state's higher ed institutions estimate losses of between $374 million and nearly a billion over the next year, depending in part on when students are able to return to campus and how many decide not to return at all. If we do see declines, it has ripple effects, residence halls, dining halls, parking. Some schools are already reporting a 30% drop in international students. Colorado State University Chancellor Tony Frank says they raised tuition to climb out of the last recession. The idea that we would use the same tools going forward of raising tuition just isn't a viable option. CU also says it won't raise tuition, and yet they're bracing for up to a 17% cut in state aid. And higher ed is the state's third largest employer. That job ratchet that we talk about, 2.3, maybe three jobs in the community for each job at a university, when the university loses jobs, that ratchet spins in the opposite direction, and we drive unemployment in a very negative way. Nationwide, universities employ nearly 2.5 million people. Yet while they got $14 billion in federal aid, the airline industry, which employs 750,000, got $50 billion. Frank says Congress needs to step in and fast. We've started to see reports of places that survived the Civil War and the Great Depression that are not able to make it um, through this particular crisis. Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.